Yo, what is going on everyone? Hope you guys are having a great day today. My name is Jay Miles and before we get into the video, I want to make sure you guys know that my stream is going to be on Thursday simply because I'm going to be getting married this Saturday and also when the new update comes out on Tuesday, I have a really fun activity video that you guys can interact with. Kind of like the trivia, but not exactly the trivia, but it'll be involving you guys down in the comments below. So look forward to that and make sure to click like on the video and click subscribe so that you're not going to miss any other video that I come out with and let's get right into today's video. So we're going to be talking about the fact that tomorrow we're actually going to get the story of the outlands called the endorsement it is the official story of the outlands coming from apex legends tomorrow at august 11 10 a.m pacific standard time that's uh 1 p.m for your east coast people like myself now one of the greatest things about apex legends is the fact that it's a battle royale that incorporates lore so is there a story to it it's not just a good battle royale game it actually has a story mode to it as as far as why these legends are here and so that's one thing i really love about these stories of the outlands is you get that story mode it's kind of like completing another quest you get another hint of information as to what's going on and the only thing i can take from this is it looks like lifeline is holding hands with someone or kind of like shaking hands with someone and i don't know for sure that it's lifeline but it just kind of looks like lifeline and i would also imagine that one of them is probably rampart just because rampart is the new legend that's coming in season six so i would imagine we would get some story a mode a storyline about her and who she is and how she fits into the apex legends games uh so i'm really interested to see what the story of the outlands is going to be like also we have another voice voice teaser that was released a couple of days ago on apex that i have not covered on this channel so maybe it could be something that's leading into the story of the outlands and giving us a backstory as to what this story of the outlands is actually going to be about so i'll play that on screen now hey perek you seem tired up too late melting bits together a little off your game it makes sense you lose the match tomorrow you might even say people have money on it keep that in mind so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this teaser i once again don't really know what to make of it but i do think it's going to have some kind of incorporation with the story of the outlands that we're going to be getting tomorrow once again that's at 10 a.m pacific standard time and 1 p.m eastern standard time now let's talk about some more news uh something that i have not even covered on this channel yet is the fact that we're getting something in season six called crafting now a lot of people have been wondering what crafting is going to be about and i personally have my opinion as to what i think it's going to be but i'll also open the discussion for down in the comments below as to what you guys believe is going to be and any proof that you may have uh, regarding what it could be so number one i think it's actually going to be a way to have an anti rng system what i mean by that is instead of like evolved armor with evo shields maybe they didn't work like they were hoping they would so i'm guessing maybe we will be able to take things like body shields maybe helmets maybe even weapons or maybe even weapon attachments i'm not sure but it does say the word gear that's the word that i really want to focus on here a lot of people were worrying thinking that apex was about to become like fortnite because it said if you don't like what you have then you can collect materials around the map and build something better no that's not what it's saying it says if you don't like your gear so considering the fact that it says gear i'm assuming that it means uh, your body shield your helmet maybe 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 even weapon attachments but i would also assume maybe backpack uh, i can't or knock down shield that's I, that's what i would think is gear the things that are on your bottom hud i think that is what is considered gear but you can maybe make the argument for the fact of like weapon attachments and stuff but we'll have to wait and see i think that'll be something that's really really good because uh you you don't want to just have evo shields um in the game that help people get higher level armor so if someone does get an evo shield and they get red armor towards the end of the game that's great but what about the people that still got stuck with the blue armor still got stuck with the white armor uh maybe like mid game so this is going to be a great incorporation to allow everyone in the game to have a better armor have a better shield so i think this is going to be a really good implementation into the game i think this is going to have a positive impact if this is exactly what i think it is into the ranked meta into the ranked system and to the esports development i think this is going to allow people to uh have a much more healthy experience with apex legends and not be so agitated once again if it works like i think it does so imagine it like this imagine how people in fortnite they usually especially esports they usually spread out when they land and then they all get like max materials if not max they get a lot of materials um, before they even start fighting sometimes you have people that drop on each other but a lot of times in the esports scene people will grab materials first and then start fighting so maybe if this is going to work like that maybe people can actually have the opportunity to grab materials first then start fighting maybe all with purple armor all with gold armor all with red armor whatever it's going to be i hope it's something like that because I think that's what's going to make people the happiest over time having to fight people at their same armor level rather than having to fight someone with a higher level armor than them but also with the new season six world's edge map changes i hope that the world's edge map changes are, are adding more po
POIs, not just, you know, changing POIs. Because I think one thing that Apex really needs in the esports and rank system is they need more POIs for people to spread out on. I can understand how one would want their public match to be a little bit faster, but when it comes to like ranked and when it comes to playing for money in esports, I think they definitely need to allow people to have multiple, multiple, multiple POIs to land at. That way people are not forced to land on other teams if they don't want to. I understand that some people like to land on teams and that way they can get some easy RP off the beginning of the game. But you also have people that land on other teams just because there's nowhere else to land without landing on another team. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Also subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. I will see you all in the next video, which will be tomorrow talking about the stories of the Outlands and covering all the news that we have from it. I will see you all once again in tomorrow's video. Make sure to be there. It's Viber Die up in here, baby. Let's go. And I'm out. See you guys.